Hi, I am Ruth and behind here is my hubby Daniel Smith from Go For Green Living and he always promotes green hippies but today we want to speak about mountain mints <sighs> mountain mints, it's so beautiful, it's so awesome, you need mountain mint mountain mint is like one of the most beautiful, um, fresh, um, healthy Oh, practical and beautiful flowers you will have in your garden. It's a mint. It's a pycnothemum. It's in the mint family, but it's like the best pollinator ever. So uh, I'm going to show you some of Daniel's uh, clips here in slow-mo. When I'm working in the garden, I just love to stop by and stroll by and just sit here. You can actually sit here and not getting stung. They are so beautiful. It's so peaceful here. Um, I decided I wanted to have this all around the property if I could, so I think I will propagate it. Very beautiful, very fresh, very nice. We have a lot of things you can use it for, uh, but um, definitely mountain mint. Yes, it's the thing you need. Yeah, as you guys see, it's like really hot today. It's Alabama sun, um, low 90s. It's really hot, but I have a sumbrella. Oh, hi, Nicholas. Hi, sweetie. Okay, so I'm sitting here with the cat and um, we're disturbing the mountain mint. There are so many bees here. It's like the wonder, number one pollinator for um, meow, bees. Yes. And you want to add to that? Yes. Okay, so that was mittens on mountain mint. I think that's the number one reason to have mountain mint. It's because it's a uh, pollinator. There's no mosquito, mosquitoes, it's a mosquito repellent. I've been sitting here and there's nothing on me. It's like I'm totally bug free over here. No mosquitoes. Um, and they're leaving me alone. All the wasps and mainly bees in all varieties. They're just humming on this. So, <laughs> Daniel, this is your mount mint. Yes. And um, how old is this patch? Well, Y'all remember from my videos when the green the snow brought down the greenhouse. This was in the aquaponics I just started. It had one piece and it fell down straight here. So this make it three years old. This is third year this year. Last year is about a half this. So this about is a much. and it, year. it was in the greenhouse. Yes. Let me just see this. How big it is in the size. So this is a three year one. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah. I love it, though. Yes, I do too. It's very beautiful. Everything you grow here is very beautiful. Hey, you're handsome, too. I love it. They kind of start like this, and they just kind of go out like that, and then they become a ball eventually. So they will just keep on blooming. Yes, and keep blooming. blooming until fall. Hmm. Interesting. Pick them when they're flowering. You basically want you want the flowers, right? Um, some people pick them when it's a new moon, and some do when it's a full moon. We like to pick them on the full moon if you think about it, because all the flavors, uh, the juices, the oils go up. But we're not like usually. We just do it when we have time and remember, don't we, Daniel? Yes. But here we just kind of like pick it, and um, when you take it inside, you just hang it upside down like that. Uh, I have this big paper bag that I put them in because then it, they don't become dusty and yucky. So uh, you use the buds, the flowers, and the leaves. Um, I'm going to show you here. Do you see that it's a lighter color on the leaves? That's because it's packed with like nutrition. It's um, magnesium and uh, a lot of good stuff in here. Um, but you can use it in cooking. It's like a sweet, savory flavor is good with meat um, you can use uh, the leaves that's my favorite thing is to use the leaves as an infusion people say it makes a wonderful tea no it makes a medicine herbal tea that's not good if you want to have the flavor of mountain mint you put it in cold water in the fridge overnight and you infuse it you make an all infusion and the best way is to drink that ice cold instead of lemonade or you add it with sweet tea so make your gorgeous Alabama 
sweet tea, a little bit stronger, and add a little bit of mountain mint uh, diffusion in there. Infusion, diffusion, infusion, mountain mint infusion. Yes. Hi. So me and Mittens, we want to share with you a little bit on how uh, we like to use mountain mint. Um, they say that you can make tea out of it, um, and that is very good. But when I actually tried to make tea uh, with uh, hot water, it, it made it a little bit bitter for me. I find that the oil of the mountain mint, <clears throat> the, uh, it, 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 it's, it's not that good when it gets too warm. So I would recommend you to actually just take cold water and make an infusion instead of a tea. So. Uh, what I actually found to be the better thing is because I have to try things out before I recommend it. This is just cold water and I like ice cold in Alabama. I usually don't go with cold because I don't know why, but what I do with the mountain mint, I make a cold water and mountain mint infusion. So I take fresh water. Um, we have a well, <laughs> yummy, 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 very good well water. And I just add like a stem of the mountain mint inside here with the flower on it. And this, you can kind of like top a little couple of times, but this is my favorite for mountain mint. And I found it, it is extremely good if you mix it with sweet tea. So if you make sweet tea, just add a little bit of the mountain mint infusion um, just when you drink it, not for storing it together. You have one pitcher with cold water and mountain mint and you have one with sweet tea. And when you pour it in a glass, you mix it and you find what you like to, to, to mix, you know how much. But that is something I totally recommend. Do not make a tea on it. That's not my recommendation unless you want to do it for herbal use medicinal use because you see mountain mint and medicinal use Woo! yay <sighs> i had to kind of like have cheat cheats on this one because it's like too much for me to remember and you know it's like i try things out this is kind of like from different sources what i've been reading up on um like what i said my my preferences what i have tried out is to make uh sweet tea and mountain mint water infusion uh, mix and to uh, also have um, have it as pollinator insect repellent and to make things very fresh you can have it in a dryer you can have it in potpourri incense it freshens up your home you can take it on the you know put it on the carpet somebody said i'm not sure about that but <laughs> you can use it as a freshener it's fresh it freshes things up it's also good for you they say so what is good for mint? <clears throat> okay here this is what mountain mint is good for. <laughs> okay, so I found that this is what everybody's been saying, and I do not know this. If you have any comments on this, please let me know. They say that mountain mint is good for menstrual disorder, indigestion, mouth sores, and gum related uh, stuff, um, colic, colds, flus, maybe chills and fevers. Right, mittens, she's back, yeah. And rabies. The homeopathic movement, they kind of like say that hydrophobia, rabies, that's the number one thing for mountain mints. I, I like the freshness of it though. Um, <clears throat> if you make a strong concoction though, medicinal, it is good. You can actually put it on the festered wounds if you need to. They say it's that antiseptic. Uh, or you can crush the leaves and put on toothache. Yeah. Okay, so they say, mm, they also say it's good to have in baths because it will soothe your skin. If you have like irritation, skin irritation, it can soothe in your skin. So I'm like, I'm wanting to try out a lot of these things. You can also use it in cooking, by the way. It's, like I said, it's a sweet and sour thing. Uh, and it's like hot and spicy. So try it out. You know, let me know what you think. I would love to have inputs about your experience on mountain mint. So, I think that's kind of like it. Sum up, get mountain mint. Mountain mint is good. <laughs> it's for mountain mint. So, that's it for now. I'm going to enjoy this. Very yummy, yummy mountain mint.
Oh, yes. Very refreshing. So, that was it for the month month for today. So, I wish you guys a uh, still good summer. Try out the month.